are Lagos Talks 91.3. Let's talk. I have with me the chairman, CEO of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, the NDLEA, retired General Mohamed Bubamawa. Good morning, sir, and welcome. Good to have you on the show. Glad to be here. Lovely, lovely. So um, I do understand it's indeed a major conversation to have today, um, which is quite significant, you know, considering (coughs) the many dangers of drug abuse, particularly here in Nigeria. Okay, and I know that with the oncoming um, um, World Drug Day, which is on the 26th of June, 2021, I understand that you have a lineup of activities, you know, but um, from your perspective... Um, how would you say, um, how would you assess so far, you know, the, um, uh, as a country, what actions, you know, you've taken so far with the challenges we have today in Nigeria? Thank you very much. Um, as the lead law enforcement agency on drug supply uh, reduction, it is our um, mandate to deal with seize and enforce the law against the cultivation, manufacturing, trafficking, selling, importation, exportation, and use of drugs and all narcotic uh, substances. So far, we have uh, applied ourselves to the task given to us by the president. And uh, I believe when we seize even one kilogram of cannabis it is one kilogram less on the streets we know that drugs has destroyed families youths communities before our very eyes we are seeing the destruction of of the country yeah and for this reason we in the ndlea enforce the law against illicit substances we arrest we seize we prosecute send them to jail it's very important uh, for us to carry out this assignment to save our youth, our women, country as a whole. The implications of drug use does not stop at the destruction of our youths alone. Right. It propels insecurity. It propels insecurity. All the Boko Haram insurgents, the bandits, kidnappers, they all use drugs. You have to be crazy hmm. to go out to, to kidnap 200 or 300 school children. Absolutely. And I've interacted with kidnapped victims, you know, released. And they have told me that throughout the period of their captivity, the, the, the bandits were smoking cannabis, popping pills, and so on. It's, it's a terrible situation. But the NDLEA I must take this opportunity to confirm we're up to the task. Right. And we call on the entire society... <clears throat> to join us in this war. It's indeed a war against drug abuse, which the president will be launching on Saturday, okay. the International Drug Day. Speaking of the International Drug Day, the theme this year is, you know... <clears throat> okay. The theme, the theme this year, pardon me, is um, save, saving lives, knowing them better and getting more information. Would you say today um, that... Um, the average person is aware of the risks involved and the dangers that are here. And in, time, in terms of enlightenment programs, you know, what would you say as regards to that? One thing is certain in Nigeria that there's widespread use, three times the global average. In Nigeria, 14.3 million drug users, uh, 20% of who are uh, dependent. This is, as I said, three times the global average. It's a terrible state of affairs. The drug abuse, everyone knows it now in Nigeria because it is in every community. All the communities, drug use pervades uh, the entire country. We are quite uh, in the know of it. And that is why part of our activities, apart from the law enforcement, is to join in advocacy to reduce the drug demand. And it's part of the purposes every year of the International Drug Day uh, to mobilize and galvanize the citizenry, put hands together under a whole society approach, the traditional institutions, 
religious institutions, student bodies, workers, security agencies, families, NGOs, and you, the media, everyone has to put his hands together at this before the country is destroyed. Okay. Would you say, sir, that um, one has been been able to identify uh, where these drugs come from as of today? Yes, of course. Um, Latin America, China, India, some are uh, produced and manufactured in Nigeria, the methamphetamines that were getting hold and destroying those laboratories of meth. Cannabis. We have of the 14, roughly 14, 15 million drug users, 77% are using cannabis. That's actually 10.6 million Nigerians. We are the world leader. Isn't, isn't that a shame? We should, <coughs> we should, Nigeria should be a world leader in technology or in science or education, in some of these uh, positive areas. But to say we are the leader in cannabis in the world mm. is a big shame. And we have to really get to the bottom of it. And that's why um, our intelligence based operations go all out in the jungles, the bushes, forests. We destroy and burn. All the cannabis uh, plantations we find, we seize, we prosecute, and our prosecution in the last six months has jailed over 500, 500 criminals. We will continue uh, on this. Okay. Thank you very much so far for your insights. But let's just take a break with Edline News to see what is going on in the country. This is the Classic Lounge, and um, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Edline News in a second. Enjoy classics? Yes! Here's 94.3 Reasons Why. All this and more. On Classic FM, 94.3 Abuja, the station that plays every song you know. Headline news on Classic FM, 94.3. Good morning and thanks for staying with us. I'm Divine Prince Abbey with the headline news on Classic FM 94.3 Abuja. The Senate President has referred the over 895 billion naira supplementary budget meant to tackle insecurity and health-related issues to the Committee on Appropriation. Lawan, who gave the directive after the supplementary appropriation passed second reading on the floor of the Senate, asked the Senator Barao Jibrin-led panel to submit its report on Tuesday next week. The Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC, has warned of a publication by Opera News Online misinforming the public about the release of shortlisted names for recruitment into the services of the Corps. The FRSC says it is presently not recruiting, neither is there any list of shortlisted candidates published on any platform whatsoever. It further warned the public to desist from any form of engagement with the purveyors of the misinformation. Professor Charles Chukuma Saludo has emerged the governorship candidate for the All Progressives Grand Alliance in Anambra State. He was announced winner last night after the keenly contested primary held at the Professor Dora Akinuli Development Center, Oka, the state capital. The Anambra State governorship election is set to hold on November 6, 2021. And to news making rounds on the following scene. U.S. President Joe Biden has unveiled a plan that includes funding more police to combat a nationwide surge in homicides. Announcing his five-point strategy at the White House, the president urged cities and states to use $350 billion of funding from a COVID-19 relief bill on public safety efforts, including adding more police officers even beyond pre-pandemic levels. And in business, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has said it recognizes the importance of digital platforms for democratizing access to capital market products and services for greater financial inclusion in the market. The Director General of the SEC, Mr. Lamido Yuguda, said this at a webinar organized by the Commission with the theme, Digital Platforms, New Frontier for Capital Market Inclusion. And finally in sports, Germany will face England in the last 16 of Euro 2020 after twice coming from behind to draw 2-2 against Hungary. It means Germany finish second in Group F while Hungary crash out. 
Portugal, on the other hand, drew 2-2 with France to qualify for the last 16 of Euro 2020 as one of the best third-place teams. And that's the headline news on Classic FM 94.3 Abuja. Remember, COVID-19 is real and deadly. Wash your hands often with soap for at least 20 seconds. Avoid contact with sick people. Avoid touching your eyes, nose or mouth with unwashed hands. If you feel sick, seek medical advice. My name is Divine Prince Abbey. Good morning. Headline news on Classic FM 94.3. Music made for you and I. It's Classic FM 94. Enjoy classics? Yes! Here's 94.3 reasons why. and more on Classic FM 94.3 Abuja the station that plays every song you know Classic FM 94.3 Abuja the station that plays every song you know welcome back if you're just joining in well you haven't missed much we've been able to establish some of the major factors going on um, with the drug abuse, particularly here in Nigeria. Once again, I have with me the Chairman CEO of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, retired General Muhammadu Buba Mawa. Once again, thank you, sir. All right, then. Um, we've been able to establish, you know, um, quite the significance, uh, the significance, pardon me, and many dangers of drug abuse in Nigeria. You've, t- you've highlighted um, where, you know, they seem to be coming in. You mentioned India. You mentioned China just before the news break. Can you um, enlighten us further as regards to that? Well, um, you know, we really, due to international... Uh, relationships between nations there's no need to go into specific details on what each country does but certainly from Latin America uh, from India uh, from China and we are working with our counterparts in all those countries Um, the issues of cocaine, the issues of uh, heroin, the issues of tramadol um, you know and so on and so forth I won't like to get into specifics on which okay. country does which, but uh, what's important is to answer the question that uh, from some of these countries, some, some of these things come. Now, uh, sometimes they, they come through the airport, sometimes through the seaports. But the message, though, and I believe Nigerians know this, as, as do the criminals, wherever they come in with hard drugs into Nigeria, they have the NDLA waiting for them. Right. Whether they swallow it, push it through all the uh, recesses in their bodies, hide it in the false bottoms of, of cases or in spare parts and all what have you, we're always there and ready to nab them as we have. We've nabbed in the last six months over 2,000 uh, criminals and sent off uh, a quarter of those to jail. About 1,500 are still in court. Our conviction rates are above 90 percent. Wow. We'll always, uh, at the end of the day, get those criminals. Okay. The crime good. doesn't pay. Okay, good. Now, I do. I think a major conversation that we should have is, or going on at the moment, <coughs> is we understand a lot of countries have the views uh, when it comes to um, the legalization of marijuana. But in the Nigerian context... I do know you've communicated your stance as regards that. Can you talk about that quickly? The NDLEA does not support legalization, and we know exactly what we mean. Yes, there's a lot of money to be made. Some government functionaries who need money to develop their states and places are conversing for it. There have been studies on people who have been using cannabis and they find the blood has, uh, the, the brain has black patches on its way to destruction. The organs. So it's a horrible situation, right. uh, this cannabis and what they claim to be byproducts that are medicinal. I haven't seen where it worked. Hmm. 
let's let's move to parents or wards or you know people you know especially when because with the mbs which is the national bureau of statistics it states that at least 90 percent of addictions start in the teenage period 90 percent which is quite staggering what should parents or wards look out for with this you know menace in nigeria first is for parents to lead by a good example first it's what the children see uh, their parents doing that they copy. Right. So when a child sees his parents smoking cannabis, popping pills, drinking codeine and stuff, mm. already we know what, uh, what they will do. Um, that, that's number one. Second is for parents to pay attention about what their kids are doing. Mm. Pay attention to your kids. Discipline. Tell them what is right and what is wrong. Don't, you can't be afraid of your own kids or ashamed to tell them what, what you should uh, be telling them. Who are their peers? Who are their friends? Who do they go out with? What are the hours that they keep? Do you check their rooms to see what, uh, uh, what, what are the things, paraphernalia, in, in those rooms when they are not there? How have they been performing in school? Are, are their grades getting better or not? Even the gate of the child, look at him straight in the face, talk to him or her, Parents have a very important role to play. And, and this floats back also to communities. Right. Communities. We must treat everybody's child as our own. That used to be the norm in Nigeria. We have this situation now. All communities are encouraged to set up drug control committees in the community. Every community set up your own drug control committee that will take care. The first... First... Uh, first level of care is in the community. In the community, they know who are those who are peddling drugs Absolutely. and the kids who are taking drugs. So we can easily uh, nip in the board right from the communities. And in schools, uh, the Federal Ministry of Education now, they have uh, in the curriculum from primary, they are engaging, uh, they, are, they are putting uh, drug education which is very important Good. now, all the way to tertiary. Good. And added to this is the issue of uh, the drug uh, tests. We, we must do the drug tests. That way you know if it's students, you do a drug test for them. In tertiary institutions, especially the new or returning students, security agencies, the same. Transport workers, the same. Workers. It's very important. We have to do the drug test to know that the people who are going to get employed are sane. Right. Already, the governor of Kano State has led the way in his state. He won't appoint you into government, whether it's a commissioner uh, or parastatal head, if, if, you, if you are positive on yeah. drugs. And the politicians, too. Before you become uh, a legislator, or a council a man or a chairman of a local government in Kano, you must be tested for drugs. Because how can you give a cocaine, a, a cocaine person, a marijuana person, public office, high public office? Mm. He will squander the money first on the cocaine to start with. And then how will he look after the millions under him when he's crazy with, with drugs? So this is very uh, important, as I said, the, the role of the parents, community, schools, and society at large. Absolutely. Okay, just to round up this morning, once again, I did mention earlier the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Drug Trafficking will be observed this Saturday, the 26th of June. And once again, the theme is Share Facts on Drugs Save Lives. Do you have any particular plan towards this day? Absolutely. Okay. Um, first of all, this day is being replicated in all our state commands throughout the, the 36 states. Only the FCT will fall under our uh, own uh, activities. And the main thing that day will be the launching by the President and Commander-in-Chief okay. of the war against drug abuse. He will launch it officially and the National Drug Control Master Plan 2021 2025. That is the agenda for the day. We'll have Professor Wakawa give a guest lecture on that day. And the entire country, I believe, is the objective of the president to galvanize 
and mobilize the country on that day, henceforth to, to fight drug abuse collectively. Not only the NDLA, but the entire society, we all have to remain upstanding. At large. Put our hands together because these are our children and fight drugs. And now the last bit of good news I want to say okay. is my plea to religious leaders, community leaders and parents. Please, you know our youngsters, once you graduate from school, the next thing is you want to get a job. After you get a job, what is next? Marriage. You want to get married. Mm -hmm. And when you are going to get married, first, you say, do HIV test. Yes. Do genotype test. And if I ask the question, would you like your daughter to be married to a drug addict? They said no. Mm. So do a drug okay. test. test. Do a drug test is a suggestion. Once, once a boy knows they're going to be a drug test for before I get married, <laughs> he will, uh, even if he was, he will control himself or go for treatment beforehand. beforehand. So that's the message. So, uh, and in summary, say no to drugs. Stay away from drugs. That's the plea. And if you have this addiction problem, don't be ashamed. Seek treatment. Good. Very well said, sir. Um, just before we round, there's a question, and this is from Dara from Utako. Um, the welfare of NDLEA officers and ensuring they comply with the rules and regulations um, is a question here. When are we going to have amendment to the Act to ensure stiffer penalties for perpetrators of illicit drugs? On a round of notes. That's right. Um, the, actually, the... the the NDLA acts has sufficient uh, stiffness. Um, still, th there's a little tinkering uh, ongoing as we speak. The new, uh, the new law, NDLA law, uh, we will soon be out. It's, it's in the National Assembly. We've done the debate, made our contribution, and so on. And there's more stiffness in, in, in terms of penalties. And, and more to the point is the pharmac uh, Pharmacies uh, Council of Nigeria bill. That is the one that will hit those criminals who are selling fake substances and those who are pretending to be pharmacies and they are not the regulation uh, over them. The patent medicine stores, one million of who are selling uh, illegally. Right. Uh, also in Nigeria, as you know, patients, well, probably the only country that does this, patients will go to the pharmacy and tell the pharmacist what he should be giving them. Yeah, okay. the, 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 these are patients turned uh, uh, doctors, doctors themselves. themselves. So it's in the pharmacy's council bill. Okay. Uh, the law with stiff penalties for, for pharmacies themselves who do this type of uh, business. Everything is going to be regularized. So you have to take a doctor's prescription properly. Before. I take it. That's right. Absolutely. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. Very insight insightful chat this morning. Thank you once again for coming. And uh, we will keep doing the little we can or the very best we can, you know, to ensure that we um, drive home um, and address this issue together, like you mentioned, as a collaborative effort. Thank you once again, sir. It's lovely having you. It's my pleasure. All right, then. Classic FM 94.3 Abuja, the station that plays every song you know. It's been um, an insightful morning with the NDLEA uh, uh, um, chairman there. All right, then stay with me. The Classic Lounge definitely does continue. This is Classic FM 94.3 Abuja. We are Lagos Talks 91.3. Let's talk.